Welcome back. It is time for some business news now. And investors here in Singapore can access more investment options with the first active exchange traded fund, or ETF, launched on the national bourse. An active ETF means that investment managers can change their basket of investments without having to stick to a benchmark index. The new product offered by Lion Global Investors and Nomura Asset Management focuses on 50 to 100 Japanese companies from sectors such as technology, real estate and healthcare. It will tap on artificial intelligence to conduct technical and qualitative analysis, picking stocks with the aim of outperforming the market. The firms add that their AI models can evaluate more data points and do it faster than human analysts. Now, this means that investment managers can respond to market changes quickly. We believe that the use of AI will help to overcome one of the uh, common pitfalls of active human manage, uh, investment management because AI is very disciplined, so it avoids human bias and judgment. And it's also quite rigorous because we've uh, tested our AI models quite extensively. Analysts say that these active ETFs could become more popular as an investment choice. They're expecting more of them as well to be listed on the Singapore Stock Exchange. Now, that's because unlike passive ETFs, which typically follow the performance of an index seen here in red, active ETFs like the one shown here on the right, well, they can be constructed based on investment expertise. And this means that managers can change the portfolio allocation as they see fit. So if some companies in the benchmark index are not doing well, well, the investment team can stock pick other types of firms and hopefully that will lead to higher returns. But there are some drawbacks. For one, fund managers don't have to disclose their portfolio allocation, which means that investors may not know where their money goes. They'll also have to pay higher management fees compared to passive ETFs. Now, even then, SGX sees this as a growing market, citing a report that shows active ETF listings reaching over 600 billion US dollars globally last year. It says that ETF investing here in Singapore has also garnered keen interest in recent years, with the value of assets doubling since the end of 2019 to over 10 billion Sing dollars by October last year. With the fast-changing uh, market conditions that we have witnessed uh, in recent years, I think the appetite for more uh, active and more dynamic investing to respond to these uh, market changes have also been on the rise. So I think the launch really set the backdrop for more uh, active uh, ETF uh, listing to come uh, in the near future to cater to the increased demand for such uh, products. 